경남 신규 LG 발전소 대거 건설 반대한다. This is a protest in Gyeongnam, South Korea, a province that holds 12 of the country's coal fire power plants. People have come out onto the streets to refuse the government's plan to convert several of these coal plants to run on gas in their already coal stricken villages. <laughs> These voices represent a concern emerging all around the world as countries transition from coal to gas as a so-called clean energy source. But what isn't often considered, which many experts argue is most important, is the concern of public health. In a global scramble to transition towards carbon neutrality, countries have increasingly gravitated towards fossil gas, otherwise known as natural gas. And South Korea is no exception. According to South Korea's latest energy plan, the government aims to shut down 30 of its coal plants by 2035, but only to replace them with 24 LNG facilities, part of South Korea ramping up its gas capacity by 50% by 2034. The problem with this plan, though, is that during its entire life cycle from production to consumption, fossil gas emits tons of toxic air pollutants. 사람들이 잘 모르시는 내용이 천연가스라고 해서 천연가스가 대기오염 물질이나 온실가스를 전혀 배출하지 않는다고 생각하는 것입니다. 가스 발전은 연간 155톤의 질소산화물을 배출합니다. 질소산화물은 암, 천식을 유발할 수 있고 여기에 오래 노출될 경우에는 결국 조기 사망에까지 이를 수 있습니다. Kyuri Cho is a researcher at a Seoul-based environmental organization who helped investigate the health impacts of South Korea's current gas policy. The results were harrowing. At South Korea's current pace, it was found that gas would cause about 23,000 premature deaths by 2064, which is South Korea's current gas phase-out year. This figure exceeds the estimated number of premature deaths under South Korea's current coal policy. This is alarming given that South Korea already has a coal phase-out year that falls way behind global standards. 따라서 가스 발전소는 기후 위기 대응에 도움이 되지 않을 뿐만 아니라 지역 주민 그리고 우리나라에 살고 있는 모든 국민들의 건강에도 좋지 않습니다. 따라서 가스 발전소는 모두 2035년까지 퇴출되어야 하고 그보다 더 급하게 현재 건설 예정되어 있는 가스 발전소의 건설 계획이 모두 철회되어야 합니다. And South Korea is not the only country that is increasing its gas capacity and its energy mix. Dr. Bunicor is a researcher at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, where he studies the health, environmental, and climate impacts of energy choices. More and more, there's just been this growing body of research that really shows the linkage between um, energy consumption and health. The way we get energy is has a really fundamental relationship to our health that's both good and bad. Dr. Bunicor co-authored a groundbreaking study on the public health burden of energy in the U.S. and found that the total health impacts of gas are now larger than that of coal in many states in the country. Just swapping out one combustion fuel for another is not going to get you to a healthy energy system. And there can be some benefits if you're swapping out a, a really heavily emitting fuel for one that emits less, but less emissions is not the same thing as zero emissions. And if you want a healthy energy system, you need zero emissions. But it's not all bad news. The world has other energy options than fossil fuels that can help us reduce both greenhouse gas emissions and save lives. I mean, if you were to replace a large portion of the gas energy or the coal energy or whatever with wind and solar, you know, that won't emit air pollution, doesn't emit greenhouse gases, so you've reduced those different impacts by quite a bit.
But currently, South Korea has one of the lowest shares of renewables in its energy mix out of all OECD nations. 우선은 공공 기관부터 좀 태양광을 확대해 달라고 하고 있습니다. 그럼에도 불구하고 도청 같은 데서 잘 협조가 안 됩니다. 그래서 담당하는 공무원들이 기후 위기에 대한 절박성이 절박성이 그렇다 툰베리가 이야기하는 것처럼 눈꽃만큼도 없어요. Countries all over the world have pledged to go carbon neutral by 2050. But many countries have continued to greenwash fossil gas, replacing one fossil fuel with another rather than sufficiently expanding renewables. To combat the worsening climate crisis, people are fighting to protect their communities, their loved ones, and our fundamental right to health. With the continued expansion of fossil fuels, people like the residents of Myeongdok are on the brink of losing their hometown. 아, 이주를 하게 된다면 당연히 안타까움 있죠. 저희 마을이 한 350년 정도 어른들한테 그 들었는데 내 고향을 버리고 떠날 정도 같으면은 오죽하면 우리가 마을 고향을 버리고 다른 데를 이주를 해달라고 하겠습니까? 그게 제일 안타깝죠. 내 고향을 버리는 거잖아요.